What is up guys, Kalu here. This time we're going to dive into an engine which has the level of cuteness of... OVER 9000! <laughs> I guess this engine is something I did think of by myself. Kinda, sorta. A little backstory on this. When I was making my Melfi deck a while back, I figured out a pretty cool combo. Afterwards, I found that it's pretty much a staple in most Melfi decks, but I took it a little bit further. I played it in my Cosmo build, and it was hilarious. That's the moment I decided to make an episode about it. Took me a while to get the screenwriting going, didn't it? Some of you watching might be wondering what the hell I'm talking about. It's a little neat thing I like to call the Hop Melfi engine. It actually became a thing with the release of Rise of the Duelist in August 2020, but half of the engine was introduced in the the TCG as part of the Chaos Impact booster set in October 2019. The engine isn't competitively viable, at least at this point in time. There might be a deck in the future that's able to effectively utilize it, but knowing Konami there's not a big chance that's happening. Still, I think it's a very fun, interesting deck engine. Like I mentioned previously, this engine is not well known, at least in the competitive circles. It wasn't any top decks during remote dual tournaments or online championships. It's rather tiny in terms of cards used having only two. In this case, it's similar to the Star Surf engine I talked about in an earlier episode. The cards in this engine are Melfi Caddy and Hoppier Squadron. Now, let's take a closer look at both of them. This YouTube celebrity allows the owner to search a beast monster from the deck and add it to the hand. The effect is good, but the activation condition greatly hinders it. It can only be activated when a monster is summoned or a caddy is attacked, making it susceptible to any form of negation. It can be replaced by when the wind channeler, but I wouldn't recommend so. Wynn does a standard type of search, but it also prevents the player from using monster effect except wind monsters, making this option much less splashable. Bunnies with wings instead of ears. If anyone have asked me last year if I would cover it, I'd laugh. But here we are. Oh, how the tables have turned. Anyway, this card is decent due to the fact that it can provide a synchro summon during the opponent's turn. Why the effect is decent? Let me paint you a scenario. You're able to summon Artifact Sight, preventing the opponent from gaining momentum from a very strong combo play. However, the opponent is able to set a few phase downs, probably cards to stop you from any plays during your turn. After which, you just activate Hoppier Squadron, bring out Black Rose Dragon, and nuke everything in the process. That is just an example, but the ceiling those bunnies can reach is hard to grasp. Like mentioned previously, the engine is very small. Unfortunately, there's no competitive data regarding it, and I prefer not to give my opinion in this section, but I have no choice in the matter at this point. What's been working out for me is two or three copies of Hoppier Squadron and triple Melfi Caddy. Of course you're free to experiment, that's what's been working out for me. The engine's primary focus is to provide synchro summons during the opponent's turn as an additional disruption. There are a lot of synchro monsters that can be summoned by Hoppier Squadron. From Herald of the Arclight to Satellite Warrior, everything is game for those bunnies. The greatest issue of this engine comes from its core concept. Synchro monsters aren't that well supported, and the fact the owner needs to control a monster of a proper level makes it more problematic. The engine is very flexible and can be used in pretty much anything. The most noteworthy synchro monster it can summon are Herald of the Arclight, Desert Locust, Powered Insectron, Metaphys Horus, Black Rose Dragon, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, F.A. Dome Dragster, Pearl Lord Savage Dragon, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, Satellite Warrior, and even Time Lord Progenitor for Upgate. This is a new section I decided to add to the series. For all the people who would like to use the engine in a local tournament, a remote duel, etc. I'll be stating the average prices for each card the engine uses. All of the data will be taken from Yu-Gi-Oh prices, just so we're clear on that front. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. When it comes to Hoppier Squadron, it has two printings. As a rare in Chaos Impact, 183 US dollars, and a common in the 2020 Tin of Lost Memories, for a dollar. While Melfi Caddy had only one printing in Rise of the Duelist as a super rare, which costs $1.92. The extra deck part of the engine, aka the monster one with Synchro Summon, vary depending on the targets. The cost of the main deck part starts at $8.76 for three copies of Caddy and three copies of Common Squadron, and ends at $11.25 for the same quantity, but with Squadron being in the rare rarity instead. As you can see, this is not a very expensive engine for what it can do. Okay, 
That would be it for today. What do you think of this engine? Would you like to try it out in any of your decks? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, I'd love to hear of those. And now if you excuse me, I have a sudden urge to watch cat videos. See you later, bye bye. The engine isn't competitively... Blah, blah, blah. The engine is making it sub 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 from Harold from Harold from Harold from Harold the Var to control a monster of a proper revel 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 revel